Welcome back to the 2018 Party Olympics. Our competitors have been going head to head these past few days, overcoming obstacles and challenges. As we approach the next few days on our 2018 Party Olympics, we get to hear their stories. You know, most people don't think to play Marco Polo out of the water. But once you leave, the gentle caress of the chlorinated oasis and becomes a full contact dangerous sport. It's a metaphor for life. You stumble around in the dark, calling out for a person who's always one Marco step ahead. Polo. So I was thinking, what's the best way to prepare myself for this challenge? And then it hit me. Bats. If I could master the art of echolocation, I might just have an advantage. That's why I stowed away in a cave for six weeks with only the faint chittering of bats to keep me company. The police were called when some family screamed when they found me hanging headfirst off a ledge eating an orange. You know why they were scared? They saw the face of a winner. A winner with a high amount of vitamin C and gold medal. After that, we had our Duck Duck Goose competition in which Rocket won silver. Here's what he has to say. Dunk Duck Goose is a game that relies fully on animal instinct, so I feel right at home. You go right into the mindset of the goose, one of nature's natural predators. Birds are direct descendants of the dinosaurs, so I try to mimic the reptilian mentality whenever I play. To fully embrace the goose mindset, I lived amongst the geese. It took a while to earn the trust. Dave was especially challenging, to say the least. However, I won their respect when I forged an entire loaf of whole grain when a family came to feed the ducks. From then on, I was part of the flock, and Dave and I formed a blood pact. From them, I learned the ways of the goose, and now I can feel the spirit of the geese of yesteryears living within my soul. Okay, moving on from that, we have the musical chairs competition in which Danny Hanson won gold. Let's hear his story. Well, I started training for this competition about six months ago. Um, I'd say it all really started back in September. Uh, <laughs> musical chairs is a game of reflex. The faster survive and the slowest wither. That's a fact of life. The lioness catches the gazelle. The killer whale nabs the baby seal. My jeep runs over that three-legged squirrel. It's the circle of life. You've got to be the fastest and the quickest to survive. And that's exactly what I need to be. For this event, I trained myself to the extreme. With the help of my friends and my old college textbook about Pavlov, I trained myself to have a hair trigger response to the sound of music. Oh, not again! Every time I was too slow, I got a small shock from this here collar my buddy Bobby made from old electric fencing. It worked great at getting me moving. Sometimes the shock was leaving me out for days. Now, much like that Pavlov and his dog, at the teeniest whistle, I will... <laughs> and that concludes our 2018 games. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next year for more. Hey! See you next year, folks.